In this video, we'll look at how to create a Dim Dim Live class in your Moodle course. First, log into your Moodle course. Secondly, turn editing on. Next, choose Add an Activity in Dim Dim Web Meeting. On this page, we'll provide information about the Dim Dim Live class and set some of the parameters for the Dim Dim Live classroom session. First, provide a, a name for your Dim Dim class. Next, you can provide an agenda that allows your users to understand the content of your meeting. You can set the maximum number of participants. The maximum number of participants allowed in a Dim Dim meeting using the free version is 20. Next, start, set a start time. This can be set for any time in the future, but if you're creating a meeting to host immediately, I suggest to set it 10 minutes or so ahead of time to give you time to log into the meeting. Private chat can be enabled if you'd like students to be able to chat with each other privately. We can select the audio and video modes that will permit in this meeting. I'm just going to leave this at audio, but there are other choices available. Public chat enables or disables the public chat room. Recording enables or disables our ability to record the meeting or record the class so that students can view it later online. There are four functions available to presenters in DimDim, Dim, and these can be disabled or enabled through Moodle. I'm going to enable each one of them. Screencasts allow you to share your desktop out with participants. The whiteboard allows you to annotate or diagram. Document for sharing sharing allows you to share PowerPoints or PDF files with your participants. And co-browsing allows you to share a website on the internet with your participants. I leave the network set to dial up. Display dial-in info. If this is enabled, a telephone number and access code are displayed in the DimDim Dim meeting that participants may use to log in to, to call into a conference call. I'll enable allow presenter to invite. This allows the presenter to turn over control of the meeting to the participants. An international toll number for the conference call can be provided. Moderator and attendee passcodes can be provided to control access. I enable attendee mics on join. This way a, a participant's microphone is functional as soon as they log into the meeting. And I also enable hands-free on start. This way a student doesn't have to press a button in order to participate in a dim dim live classroom. I enable the assistant. This allows the presenter to access presenter functions during the meeting. I enable participant lists so that everyone knows who else is in the room and I can set a meeting duration in hours. I generally disable the waiting area. The waiting area is an area where participants are held before you manually admit them to the Dim Dim Live classroom. I prefer to disable that and then participants are automatically added straight into the classroom. Meeting keys and host keys can be used to restrict ac access to your live classroom as well. Next click Save Changes. There's now a link in your Moodle course that says click here to start meeting. So when the instructor is ready to start the live classroom they can click on that link. and they're logged directly into DimDim Dim, and the live classroom begins. In our next meeting, in our next video, we'll look at some of the basic functionality of DimDim Dim that's available to instructors.